let me share my screen. Uh, <clears throat> okay, can you guys uh, see the screen? Hope it is not blurry, right? Yeah, okay, that's great. Then let us move things aside. Only seven people have joined so far. The problem is if I start early, then again ha people will join late, then I have to repeat again. That's the issue. Okay. Let us keep chat here. Okay, can you guys see my screen? So uh, let me write down by the time everyone joins. So what uh, we will be learning in today's session. So today's uh, content. We'll be learning of what is state and behavior of an object. And next uh, we are going to learn is uh, how do we write what is code optimization first of all and then after that uh, we, we are going to look into <coughs> code optimization and then we will learn what is constructor okay so a uh, very important uh, topic today guys what is constructor very very important topic so we should uh, not miss this by any condition okay just give me a moment uh, let me set up my camera a little better Okay, uh, decent amount of people have joined so far. That is great. <coughs> okay, let us get started, uh, everyone. 
okay i think it is now it's time to get started okay so what did we study in the previous class everyone what did we study in the previous class you can uh, type and reply also what did we study in the previous class how to access the local and uh, global variable right yeah how do we access local and global variable everyone uh, if the non static variable and the global variable basically non static variable and the local variable name are same how do we access it mm -hmm. this keyboard right so local directly this is this keyword then after that what did we learn then we learned how to access members of other class in an one more class yeah that is what we learned and uh, then after that uh, the next thing what observation we made here is if you want to access a static member of uh, another class what do you use we use a uh, class name of that class if you want to use non static member we will create a reference variable of that particular class yeah so that is what we learned okay and next uh, when how many times will class loader uh, get called usually one time or multiple time it will get called multiple times right whenever it sees the class name for the first time it will get called yes anyone has any doubt here so far okay cool next we saw what is class and objects now here using class what can we create derived data type using derived data type what can we do we can create derived variables derived variables are nothing but your reference variable now what do we store in reference variable we store the address of that particular object done and next uh, what did we see what is a class class is a blueprint right we saw this example where you know we have a blueprint and using this blueprint we can create multiple houses right and what is this object is a real entity because we can go and stay in the house but we cannot go and stay in the blueprint it's just a logical entity whereas object is physical and real entity that is with what we saw done and we saw the example of this flower yes we can create multiple flowers here using the uh, blueprint of flower done this was the things which we learned and now we will start building on top of it guys we'll start building on top of it done now tell me what can we say what is a class here what is a class it's a logical entity okay first okay class is a blueprint okay and logical entity okay what about object object is created using the blueprint it's a real entity okay it's a real entity okay now here every object whatever we create okay every object whatever we create or the class or the blueprint which we use we have two things guys that is what we are going to study today that is called as state and behavior states and behavior give me a moment uh, just i'll be back one second hello yeah sorry i just turned on my fan it's uh, too hot. okay can you guys uh, okay what is states and behaviors guys okay now suppose whenever we uh, you know create an object we use class as a blueprint yes we use class as a blueprint now state means state means 
what the object what the object knows behavior means behavior means what the object does what the object does okay let us see with an example now say here we are creating a tree object okay now first we will write states okay this is states and these are some of the behaviors now what are the states of a particular tree what information of a tree we will have what information of a tree we will have what do we store in a tree suppose you are creating a class tree what information will store every tree will have some name tree name yes then age of the tree color of the tree say okay then what all other uh, states can a tree have height of a tree very good okay then last one last one height of a tree then roots of a tree every tree will have a root right okay i am telling like distinct features like name of the tree age of the tree color of the tree height of the tree mm, size okay size also can be one thing done now what can a tree do what can a tree do what actually is the tree's functions yes it produces oxygen okay it can produce even carbon dioxide right okay produce say i will write produce uh, food shall we say produce fruit fruit let us write fruit these are the what some of the states and behaviors right what is state here representing what we know about what that object if i create that object of the tree state represents what what that object knows and behavior represent what that object does okay similar example can we create it for similar example can we create it for uh, say uh, developer okay okay i am muted everyone okay chalo no worries okay now tell me we are creating for a developer now what all we can have for a developer <laughs> jokes apart what are the states of a developer no 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 like developer what does developer knows not work डीबगिंग इज वॉट काम है ना वो डेवलपर करता है डेवलपर के नारे में क्या है हाँ डेवलपर नेम यस डेवलपर नेम वॉट लैंग्वेज डज डेवलपर नो दिस वेन आई एम टॉकिंग प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज नॉट इंग्लिश हिंदी उर्दू और वॉट एवर राइट एंड वील हैव आइडिया ऑल्सो नो फॉर दैट डेवलपर सम एम्प्लॉय आई डी एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट देन डेवलपर सैलरी नो लैपटॉप लाइक Mm, salary designation okay so can i say age of the developer ha ha magar itna jaga nahi hai na ab itne ke liye itne bas hai theek hai now yeah these are like name language id salary and age salary is important no how will the developer work for free department gaye baad mein humko salary chahiye done developer age next what can developer do produce oxygen <laughs> developer can produce Uh, what carbon dioxide <laughs> do programming okay what do you mean by do say write code okay next execute code <laughs> developer not a manager okay what can a developer do 
apart from uh, writing executing code let us like debug code also right he can debug also the code given code right these are the some of the behaviors of a developer now now tell me what are all states here what are all states representing in an object we can store what type of data what are these these are nothing but non static variable yes what are these non static variable can we have a static variable inside an object inside an object no right we cannot have that right yeah okay now what are these then what are these what do you mean by behaviors here these are nothing but your non static methods what are the behaviors non static methods then now if i ask you what is the state at behavior of an object what is the state of an object all the non static variables and what is the behavior of an object all the non static members is this part clear guys anyone has any doubt here in this part no doubt okay chalo now if this is a state and behavior okay can you guys uh, quickly tell me state and behavior for a pen 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 okay first okay pen color okay pen color pen name also right pen type what would be pen type okay fountain pen and all like that one yeah then pen brand yes and pen price also right yeah okay next what can a pen do it can pen can write then next it can kill also right remember john wick he killed with a pencil pen to aram se he can kill no no pen will not gift itself right that is someone else will do right what will pen do it will write pen will kill <laughs> yeah okay kill also someone will do okay that was just a joke to add it is not really pen will write and what else pen functions that's it anything else pen can do even writing also someone else will do right like that so we will keep pen will kill also okay done okay understood what is states and behavior understood what is state and behavior yeah okay now what would be suppose if i are creating a state and behavior for a movie what will it be okay 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 one second movie okay okay what will have movie movie name price of the movie ah movie will not have price ticket will movie ticket like we are if yeah yeah movie name okay movie will have a hero movie will have a heroine then genre the next last one ha duration movie duration duration of a movie what all movie uh, can do mm in a movie like what are the actions we will do in a movie there will be dialogue like that like that okay songs then no no not that movie i am thinking like i am thinking like as a i am creating a movie what will movie have and what we will do in movie in that sense action actions action scene okay chalo but are you guys getting an idea what a movie can do what is a state and behavior is this part clear yeah anyone has any doubt in states and behavior no okay chalo now say let us create one class employee okay let us create one class employee see what i will do here then so just follow the code we have class employee okay 
Now, what all uh, information? Only few information, three information, not more than that. What all information can an employee have initially, which are very important? States. Yes, one is what? Very, very important. First is employee ID, right? Next, employee name. What will be the type here? String. Employee name. Next, which is the next important thing? अरे पैसा चाहिए भाई एम्प्लॉई सैलरी बिना सैलरी का काम करोगे एम्प्लॉय को आप या ओके नाउ वी आवर टास्क इज टू क्रिएट एम्प्लॉयज डन आवर टास्क इज टू क्रिएट एम्प्लॉयज ओके नाउ लेट मी राइट दिस पब्लिक स्टैटिक वाइड मेन स्ट्रिंग आग्स Done. Now I want to create employees. So how can I create employees, everyone? How can I create employees? If I want to create an employee, what should I do? Create an object of an employee. Yes. Do we know what is a constructor yet? No. Let us create an object. How do we create object? Employee e one is equals to new employee. Done. Next, employee. E two is equals to new employee. Now, what is happening when I do this? What is happening here? Okay, say so this is one object, and this is another object. Okay, we'll not go with execution process and everything since we already know how to do this. This is what E one object. This is E two object. Now, what is happening? We are loading all non-static members. This is employee ID. Initially, and what will be the employee name, e name, and e cell. Okay. Now, what are the default value of uh, integer? Zero. This will be empty. And what will be for double? Zero point zero. Yes. What is this employee ID? Will be zero. Let me just copy this. ये रहा अपना एम्प्लॉय आई डी विच इज जीरो इन द बिगनिंग डन ओके नाउ वॉट शुड वी डू वी शुड स्टार्ट फिलिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन इन द ऑब्जेक्ट हाउ डू आई डू दैट सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू फिल इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर ई वन हाउ विल आई डू दैट ई वन डॉट ई आई डी इज इक्वल टू से वन फर्स्ट एम्प्लॉय नेक्स्ट ई वन डॉट ई नेम ओके लेट एस हैव नेम ऑफ द एम्प्लॉ दीपक Why Bhaskar? I say, okay, no worries. So salary, Deepak, how much salary you want, buddy? Monthly salary. How much do you want? Say we'll give you say one point five lakh. No? Eighty k. अरे कम में मान गए चलो. Eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. Zero zero point fifty paise. Done. Double, है ना लेट एस यूज इट आई वॉज गिविंग वन पॉइंट फाइव यू टोल एटी आई एम गिविंग यू एटी डन ओके नेक्स्ट सो वॉट हैपन्स हेयर वेन आई डू दिस वॉट इज हैपनिंग हेयर हेयर वी आर गोइंग एंड चेंजिंग द वैल्यूज यस आर नो ओके वॉट इज एम्प्लॉय आई डी हेयर फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट वन वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय मिस्टर दीपक एंड वॉट इज द सैलरी एटी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी पैसे या एटी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी पैसे डन ना वॉट वील डू नेक्स्ट आई शुड फील वॉट Employee object two. Okay, now tell me, what will be the value here? Okay, employee ID two. Next, next, whose name? Who wants to get hired in this company? Uh, we'll maintain the gender ratio. Okay, chalo, Fijula. ओके फिजिला जी हाउ मच सैलरी यू वांट हाउ मच सैलरी यू वांट ओके आई विल गिव यू व्हाट आई वाज आई वाज ऑफरिंग टू दीपक से फिजिला इज हैविंग वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सेवेंटी पैसे डन ओके नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन हियर द वैल्यूज आर गेटिंग चेंज हियर राइट द वैल्यूज आर गेटिंग चेंज व्हाट इज द एम्प्लॉय आई टू What is the employee name? Fijula, and here we have her salary is one lakh fifty thousand 
सेवेंटी पैसे डन ओके नाउ ओनली क्रिएटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट इज इनफ हेच आर विल से आई वॉन्ट द डिटेल्स ऑफ ऑल द एम्प्लॉयज प्रिंट द डिटेल्स ऑफ ऑल द एम्प्लॉयज ओके वॉट विल यू डू नेक्स्ट यूल राइट एस ओ पी कैन आई प्रिंट जस्ट एम्प्लॉय वन लाइक दिस एंड एम्प्लॉय टू लाइक दिस गाइस कैन आई डायरेक्टली प्रिंट एम्प्लॉय इट विल प्रिंट ऑल द वैल्यूज इन द ऑब्जेक्ट सर विल इट हैपन विल इट टेक प्लेस नो वॉट इज हैपन देर इट विल जस्ट प्रिंट द ऑब्जेक्ट रेफरेंस राइट सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट ऑल द डिटेल्स सो आई शुड राइट राइट ई वन डॉट आई डी ई वन डॉट ई नेम देन एस ओ पी ई वन डॉट ई सैलरी डन सिमिलरली इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डू इट फॉर सेकेंड एम्प्लॉई ई टू डॉट ई आई डी नेक्स्ट ई टू डॉट ई नेम ठीक है ऐसा करेंगे नेक्स्ट एस ओ पी ई टू डॉट ई सैलरी डन ओके नाउ दिस इज डन नाउ अ न्यू एम्प्लॉय जॉइंड वॉट विल यू डू अ न्यू एम्प्लॉय जॉइंड वॉट विल यू डू वॉट ऑल विल बी माइंड टास्क फर्स्ट आई हैव टू क्रिएट अगेन अ न्यू एम्प्लॉय ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी शुड कॉल इट वॉट ई थ्री यस ई थ्री देन वॉट वी विल डू Again, we'll write e three dot e id e three dot e name, and we'll write e three dot e sal. Yes. What are we doing here? Again, we are adding details. Say employee id is three. Say employee na uh, name is uh, Vinay. Okay, and salary is say now two lakh. ओके ना वॉट इज हैपनिंग हियर अगेन वन मोर ऑब्जेक्ट इज गेटिंग क्रिएटेड ये सर नो अगेन वन मोर ऑब्जेक्ट इज गेटिंग क्रिएटेड ई थ्री एंड दिस विल बी थ्री थ्री विने एंड टू लैक ट्वेंटी पैसे ओके ना विल देर बी ओनली थ्री एम्प्लॉयज इन अ गिवन कंपनी Where will there be only one employee, three employees in a given company, guys? There will be hundreds of employees. Okay, say if there is only fifty employees. Now, will you keep writing code like this? Will you keep writing code like this, guys? Will you keep writing code like this? Every employee you join, you will tell you HR wait and you will keep writing code like this. Will you do this? Suppose you had to write code, but is it a good way, a good practice here? What will happen? See, to create, to create. One employee, how many lines of code we it is taking to create one employee? How many lines of code it is taking? First one line to create an object. Okay, three lines to initialize and three lines to print. Now will we? Ha is there a guarantee that we will always have only three attributes for an employee? We can have employee PF contribution, employee designation, department, so many things for an employee, right? then the lines will keep on increasing is this a good practice will you ever write code like this no right so for one employee if you take how many lines are uh, lines of code it is seven lines of code yes now imagine we are doing it for 100 employees how many lines of code 700 lines of code will you keep on writing 700 lines of code imagine if one employee goes you have to delete If he wants to update his salary, you have to go to that particular line and update his salary. Yes, yes or no? Will you write ever code like this in your life? Never you should write a code like this. Now, what is the issue with this code? What is the issue with this code? The code is first lengthy. Yes, yes or no? The code will become lengthy. Next, hard to maintain, right? Hard to maintain. First of all, tell me why is the code becoming lengthy? Why is the code becoming lengthy? To just create, create and print and employ how many lines are we taking? See here. To create this employee one, how many lines are we taking here? Seven lines, right? 
creating and printing seven lives can we reduce this can we reduce this right now what is happening here we are repeating things right we are repeating things when we are repeating things what are we repeating we are repeating employee creation and employee uh, display uh, displaying the employee information right we are repeating can we make it into a method can we turn it into a method everyone yes let us turn it into a method how can we turn it into a method should i use a static method or non static method should i use a static method or non static method this is what so far we wrote states right next we have to write what behavior of that method okay okay let us not call behavior also can i say i will write a method which will make my life easy okay which will make my life easy shall we do that okay chalo let us do that here now i will write same program class emp okay now first what are uh, the attributes we are having for an employee guys public int employee id public string employee name and public double employee salary done okay now i will create one method which will whenever i create an object we will call it and it will initialize the value for us done okay how can i do that i will simply write here one method called public void employee initialization method okay what all value do we need to store in an object int id int name sorry string name and double set double set okay now what we will we do here what will we do here here we will write e id is equals to id e name is equals to name then e salary is equals to salary then what is this method function this method will initialize our objects whatever we will pass it will initialize our object next what will we do we will write another method which will print the uh, print the information so can i write employee display emp info method done what will it do it will print the information about all employees okay so it will print sop eid sop e name sop e sir done is this clear guys what are we doing here we are creating an object like this done done okay next shall we see this in action in uh, the id yeah okay so let us do that okay can you guys see uh, this okay now let me create a new file called emp.java okay emp.java in in morning session i already written let us save some time okay and uh, we will create hope uh, it is not blurry right no clear right okay chalo uh, so here i have written this employee class theek okay? hai i'll just copy this and let us come here and let us paste it then okay now i'll show what i'm doing here see here what are we doing here first i have created an employee init class where we are assigning the values okay next display employee info what are we doing here here we are displaying the information about that employees done okay next in the main method what am i doing i am creating three objects okay three objects 
let me comment this and let me comment this done here here we are initializing the values now what are the uh, three two employees we had in our class what are the employee name okay it is deepak first employee is deepak what is deepak's salary poor fellow got uh, before never uh, tell what is your expectations otherwise you sometimes you may get uh, low 8 point this thing next was uh, who was next fijula right okay now what is fijula salary fijula salary is say uh, 1 lakh 50000 okay now first of all let us see whether this program is correct or not state right okay now first let us compile and check whether this program is correct or not java c emp dot java okay is there any issue so can i write it like this yes now let us see what is happening let us see what is happening if i run this java emp dot emp okay can you guys see here Employee name is employee ID is one name is Deepak salary is eighty thousand employee ID is two name is Vijula salary is fifty thousand done is this clear everyone is this clear now did we reduce the number of lines yes okay and what is the good part here here we can initialize in just only one line and we can print also in only one line yes. How many lines did we three lines it was taking total seven lines to create one particular employee now we reduce it to what three lines and we have written a reusable code right i can keep using employee in it anywhere i want yes okay now but there is one small drawback in this let us see what is that drawback in this okay now say suppose i create employee three object i create employee three object now when i create this employee three object okay Somehow I got distracted and I forgot. I forgot to what? Initialize this. Okay. I forgot to initialize this. But I remember I somehow am displaying the information. Okay. Now let us see what will happen. Let us compile this. See, compilation is successful. Did it give any error? Did did the compiler say, hey, you created employee three object, but you didn't initialize it? Is it saying like that? no right because there is proper compilation no error now if i print it what will happen see here employee id is 0 employee name is null and employees are is 0, 0.0 are we getting uh, default garbage values here can an employee id be 0 can an employee name be null and can an employee salary be 0, 0.0 no right so what is happening here what is the issue if i initialize my object in this way what is the issue if we initialize our object in this fashion? It is prone to what human error? Yes or no? It is prone to human error, right? If someone, the programmer misses it, that means there is no guarantee that always my objects will be initialized, right? Is there any guarantee that my objects will be initialized? No. So how can I make sure that I will enforce I will enforce that the object should be initialized how can I make that sure for that for that my dear friends we have something known as constructor to solve this particular issue we have something known as what a constructor let us see what is a constructor first let us see what is a constructor and then we will come back to solving this issue okay now simply let me come back to the ipad now so first of all what is uh, the problem with this code what is the problem in this code this above is prone to human error and we have no guarantee no guarantee that object will be initialized yes or no 
object will be initialized now what is the solution for this problem the solution for this problem is we will use something known as constructor okay now let us see what is a constructor okay chalo the next topic for today's class is called constructor okay now you need to remember one main points i will write it here okay first of all a constructor a constructor name is name is similar to what a constructor name is similar to what class name constructor name is similar to what a class name okay and your constructor is a special kind of method special kind of method so what is a constructor guys constructor is a special kind of method whose name is what similar to whose name is similar to the class name is this clear anyone has any doubt so far okay chalo now here there are some rules there are some rules when it comes to constructor okay now let us see what are those rules yes let us see what are those rules okay now for constructors the rules are very simple okay first of all only access specifier is allowed what do you mean by access specifier everyone what are access specifier can you give some example of access specifier public protected yes and default yes or no access specifier is allowed okay next point access modifier return type return statement is not allowed is not allowed so what this method can have only access specifier and access modifier return type return statement is not at all allowed understood okay next point is your constructor name should be should be same as what your class name your constructor name should be same as your class name okay and next point is constructor can have arguments or no arguments is this clear everyone constructor can have arguments and constructor can have no arguments is this clear anyone has any doubt so far we'll see we'll see how to create constructor everything we will see done don't worry about it ha ha arguments means parameters yes arguments can also mean by parameter done these are some of the features of what a constructor these are what some of the features of constructor now let us see this in action yeah let us see this in action okay now say i will create here let us uh, create a constructor let us see how we can create a constructor uh, we'll come here we'll create a new file called c dot java okay okay now what should be the class name class name will be c okay now what did we say about constructor guys what would be say about constructor constructor is a special type of method which can only have what access specifier so i will write say public and the the method name should be same same as method name should be same as the class name see okay constructor 
is a special kind of method where only access specifier is allowed no access modifier no return type is allowed okay chalo now this is your constructor done okay say here let us say system dot out dot print ln let us write hey i am constructor let us save this done now let me write main method let me write main method okay public static okay done what will happen in your main method let us try to call the constructor yes let us try to call the constructor okay now see now the constructor the constructor does it have access modifier is access modifier allowed for a constructor guys no if access modifier is not allowed can i say constructor is a static method or non static method how can we say first of all access modifier is not allowed you cannot write static and it is even non not non static also so what will happen it is neither static nor non static but it is a special kind of method okay so how will like i call it let us try calling it in this way done let us see what will happen here now let me compile java c c dot java okay i didn't save it my bad will i save it java c c dot java okay now what's happening here we are getting an error what is the error cannot find symbol c cannot find symbol c yes or no yeah how are we able not able to do it okay let us see what if i can create one more method called say public but this time i'll create public uh can i create something like public d okay public d now the return type here is say void i am creating a method done now once we create here say i write system dot out dot let me just copy this and i will paste it here let us see what will happen hey i am d method okay chalo now if i compile it it will give us an error, error yes this c is not available done let us comment this for now now can i call this d method guys can i call this d method here yeah can i call this d method here first of all okay let me try okay what is it saying method d cannot be referenced from a static concept why why can't i call method d directly everyone guys are you replying in chat uh, it will be what no d is a non static method d is i will not state no guys pay attention when I, when will we get error like this i will clear again i will execute it <coughs> i will not declare it static it will be non static only then i don't want to declare it as static i want it to be non static method only then how can i call it in main method we have to create a reference object right first okay chalo let us create a reference object then i cannot call non static directly in the static method right priya ji so what should we do we should create a reference object then let us create a reference object so say c rv is equal to new c save so did we create a reference object okay now can i call d in static method yes now i can create d. now hopefully we will not get error abba we didn't get error done now shall we execute this shall we execute this java c oh what happened guys see here something weird is happening 
why is hey i am constructor getting called did we call the c here no it is commented but why the hell is this getting executed why the hell is this getting executed yeah we are creating a reference variable if i create a reference variable why is this constructor getting called I, we are creating reference object. Why did we create reference object? Because we wanted to call D method. Yes. Now, why the hell is constructor getting called? Okay. Why? No. Yeah, this I created. But did I call the constructor? See, I have commented, right? I have commented the constructor. Ah, reference, I am not calling constructor, but I am creating object. But why the hell is constructor getting printed is my question. Understood? Yeah? Okay. Okay. No worry. You are actually correct, but <laughs> you are not able to answer Priyashi. Okay? Now, what is the function of new? What is the function of new keyword? First, what does new keyword do? create an object space, reserve space, generate this, load all non-static member, and remember the fourth point, it calls the constructor, yes, it calls the constructor, what is it doing here, what is this guys, this is nothing but we are calling the constructor, what does new keyword do, new keyword first it reserves the space, loads all non-static members, then sorry generate this loads all non static member fourth it will call the constructor and then it will return the address now what is this what are we doing when i say new c what am i doing here am i not calling the constructor are we not calling the constructor yes we are calling the constructor so my dear friends you cannot call constructor like this this is not valid how do you call a constructor you call a constructor by using what? New keyword. Whenever you create an object, you are calling the constructor. Whenever you are calling the constructor, you are creating an object. Is this clear, everyone? That is why when we created this reference variable. Reference, this is reference variable. I can create reference variable like this also. CRV1. Yeah, let me comment this. And let me comment this. Can I create a reference variable like this also? Yeah, CRV1. Let me compile. Will I will I get any error? No. Yes. If I run it also, will I get any error? No. See, this is creating reference variable. Yes or no? Using what? What is C here? Derived data type. Using derived data type, we are creating a reference variable. Now, what are we doing in this step? When I write RV1 is equals to new C. What are we doing here? We are creating an object. We are creating an object and then we are storing it a reference value address in RV1. Is that clear everyone? Now you see, I am not even calling D method. I will compile. Compilation successful. Now if I run it, what is happening? Here we got what? Hey, I am constructor. Is this clear guys? anyone has any doubt in this yes so when is your constructor getting called whenever you create whenever you create what whenever you create an object your constructor is getting called see here this c right this is c this is like constructor only right so we are calling the constructor is that clear everyone is that clear now from this what can we conclude whenever i am creating an object my constructor is getting called so what was our issue with the previous problem what was the issue with our previous problem here here we whenever we created this object did we initialize the value here did we initialize the value for e3 no we missed it but we may want to make sure whenever I create an object, the value should be initialized. Yes, the value should be initialized. 
So what is the best way to do this? What is the best way to do this? By using constructor. Yes, by using constructor. Can we do this? Can we do this? Let us see how we can do this. Now I will create a new file called tiger.java. Okay, tiger.java. Okay, now here, my dear friends, I will write class tiger. Okay, now can you guys help me out uh, what would be the constructor here? What will be the constructor here? Tiger. So the constructor name will be same as the class name. Okay, and it will have what? It will have public tiger. Okay, now, okay. Now what? Let us say tiger will have some value here. What will be the tiger value? It will have say tiger name public string t name. Okay, tiger name done. Yes, tiger name. So let us keep only tiger name for now. Done. Now what we want to sh make sure whenever we create an object, we want to make sure that the tiger name should always be initialized. Yes or no? We were missing, right? We were missing. Okay. So let me add one more one more variable also here. Say public int th the tiger ka age also. Now what I want to make sure whenever someone creates a tiger object, I want to make sure that the name and the age should be initialized. We should not miss it no matter what. So how can I do this? Where should I write that code? Where should I write that code? If I want to make sure that the name and age is always initialized, where should I write that code? By the time I'll write main method here. Where should we write this? Inside a constructor? Yes or no? Because Whenever we create an object, constructor is getting caught. Yes. So should I write it here? Okay. Let me write it here. T T name is equal to what? Say mm, tiger name is Chotu. Okay. Let us not let us have tiger name as some like tiger. No, we'll give it some name Tommy. Okay. Now say what is the age of the tiger? Say the tiger age is so it is five years old done okay done so now no matter what our tiger name will never be empty done okay Chalo, let us create some tigers yeah let us create some tigers okay how to how do i create tigers here tiger t1 is equals to new tiger yeah tiger t1 is equals to new tiger okay next tiger T2 is equal to new tiger. New tiger. Done? Okay. Next. Tiger T3 is equal to new tiger. Okay. Done. Okay. Let me let us uh, write a function where it will print all the tigers. Okay. Let us do that. Let us print a function. Say mm, mm, public void. Uh, display tiger input display tiger input done okay chalo next what will we do here we should print what system dot out dot print ln tiger name is plus T name okay and then we will have say tiger age is T age save it okay now let us call the function T1 dot what is the function name display tiger info save it now we'll call it for all the three tigers so this is t2 this is t3 save it and now if i compile compilation successful done now let us print it and let us see whether we were able to now am i initializing any tigers here am i initializing any tiger here no 
Okay, let us see what will happen. Oh, sorry. Java's tiger dot Java. Okay, actually now in the new thing, if you write this directly, it will get compiled and executed. No error. See if I write Java tiger. Okay, but what is happening here? All my tiger names are Tommy only. All my tiger names are Tommy only. Now every tiger I create, the name will be Tommy and the age will be five. Is it correct, guys? We solve the problem. We solve the problem that we want everything to be initialized. Yes or no? But we landed into one more problem. What is the problem here? All the tiger we are creating are same. We want different tigers. Yes or no? How can we solve this problem? This is a very big problem. Yes, that code was only better. No? At least we could have created different types of tigers. Here we are creating only one tiger. The tiger name is Tommy. Yes, this is an issue, right? Okay, what is the issue here? Issue is, what is the issue is here? What is the issue here? Issue is, all tiger are having same name and age. Now, what would be the solution? What would be the solution for this? Can you guys think of it? The solution would be here, what if while creating the, if I can pass something like this, say name of the tiger, yeah, and say age of the tiger, yes. So that, that means what, that means what, what kind of constructor we have to use? We have to use constructor with, with parameters or, or you can also say arguments, right? parameters or arguments. Is this clear guys? Yeah. Shall we do that and check? Shall we do that and check? Okay. Chalo. Let us solve it using a different problem. Done. Okay. Now let us uh, use this only. Done. Now, what are we telling here? We will have parameters. So we'll pass what name of the tiger and we'll pass what age of the tiger. So now what should I do here? Rather than hard coding it Tommy, I will write it what? T name is equals to name. T age is equals to age. Okay. Save it. Now, suppose, suppose I forgot to give the name and this thing. Suppose I forgot to give name uh, this thing. So, uh, first, let it, first let us write positive scenario and let us then come with the negative scenario. Okay. Now, we will create a first one tiger. What will be the na tiger name? Tiger name is say, say Tommy only. Tommy, age is five. Okay. Next, let us create one more tiger. Let us create one more tiger. What is the tiger name? Chintu. And the age is eight. Okay. Done. Let us save it. Now let me compile it. Let us see whether it is correct or not. Yes, it got compiled successfully. That means it is correct. Now, if I run it, what is happening? Tiger name is Tommy, tiger age is 5. Tiger name is Chintu, tiger age is 8. Are we able to create different tigers successfully? Yes or no? Yes or no? Now, you can also argue, sir, sir, what if I do this? I can create, right? But I will not give name and age. Still, there is a chance of human error. Yes or no? We can argue that, right? I'll not pass only, I'll like that only, I'll create the object. Yes, there's a chances for that. Okay, let us see what will happen if I do that. Okay, what's happening here? Let me clear it. What is happening here, guys? It is throwing its error. What is the error? Tiger in class, tiger cannot be applied to the given types. So it is telling what? Required string and int, we have passed no arguments. So can I create a tiger, first of all, without initializing? No. We have to pass the argument. Okay, someone will say, sir, okay, I'll pass only name. I will not pass the age. Say, next tiger is Golu. Okay. All, uh, 
ఫీమేల్ టా మేల్ టైగర్స్ ఉన్నాయి విల్ హ్యావ్ సమ్ ఫీమేల్ టైగర్స్ ఆల్సో మున్ని ఓకే టైగర్ ఈజ్ మున్ని ఓకే నా వి విల్ నాట్ పాస్ ఏజ్ బికాస్ గర్ల్స్ డోంట్ లైక్ టు రివీల్ దియర్ ఏజ్ ఎస్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ ఈవెన్ ఫీమేల్ టైగర్ ఆల్సో నో నో ఐ డోంట్ టాస్క్ మై ఏజ్ ఓకే చలో లెట్ అస్ సీ ఈజ్ ఇట్ అలౌడ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఓకే నో సో వాట్ ఈస్ ఇట్ సెయింగ్ స్ట్రింగ్ ఇంట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫౌండ్ స్ట్రింగ్ so can we do that can we do that no we cannot do that also done so but here unfortunately we have to reveal the age so what say let us say it is just 3 years old okay save it now if i compile it is it getting compiled yes it is getting compiled 100% now let us see if i run it yeah but i have you printed t3 have you displayed t3 ka info no save it and now if i run it what will happen mm see tiger name is tommy tiger age is 5 tiger name is chintu age is 8 tiger name is munni tiger age is 3 is it clear guys so what will you do now whenever you want to create an object and initialize the value and you want to make sure that the program will will not make mistake yes we could have just created that employee init method and we could have done right but there the problem was we were not able to enforce that this object should be initialized yes yes or no so here by using constructor we can do that now if i use normal constructor without argument what will happen all constructor will have all objects will have the same value so we went with what constructor with arguments constructor with arguments <coughs> is that clear everyone yes anyone has any doubt so far no doubt is it clear yeah cool so this is it for today's class yeah done actually uh, morning class it will take lot of time because there i have to write everything for the first time and everything here mostly we utilize the material again so it will finish faster and anyway we have class at 9 some of you so we are closing for soon today right is it clear everyone actually i want to keep this content same for morning and evening so that there is no issue okay chalo is this clear everyone is this clear anyone has any doubt so far ha huh. mm hmm here we are creating the object right here are we writing any constructor that we will see in the next class okay what will happen okay that you will see there is something known as default constructor that you will see, we will see in next class now in the next class we will be seeing execution process what will happen when we will execute this okay and how the things will work we'll see that okay then you will understand okay okay chalo any other doubts guys thank you fijula anyone has any other doubt no okay so what did we learn in today's class we learned code optimization like how we should not write the code then we optimize the code then in that code optimization also there was a problem yes what was the problem that we if the human makes a mistake the object will have no values yeah then to solve this issue what are we using constructor now we used a constructor here what is the issue if i use this constructor with no uh, arguments it will have same values if i write there but if you want to have different values for different object what you do you will pass arguments for the constructor is this clear now we will see how the hell in the next class how the hell can constructor access non static variables directly because it is not even a static method not even a non static method right but how can it access see no one asked me this question sir how is a constructor able to access non static variables directly yes or no did anyone ask okay now let us say we have one static variable public static say all tiger uh, what is the tiger uh, mm, species will be same right 
what does tiger species uh, come on? They come on the cat species, right? Yeah. Species, uh, we call them species or what? Species, let us keep it as species. The species are cat species. They are like cat type cat. Mm, yeah. Is there any other word? Am I missing? Okay, let us say species. Now this is static. Now can I can I also uh, write species is equals to say uh, cat here and here we should print what species save compile okay public static uh, string species. Okay, save. Okay, compile successfully. Now let us run and see whether it is uh, what it will print. Okay, okay, tiger age is. See, in constructor, I am also able to access static variables directly. How the hell is this possible? Let us see that. Okay, in the next class, done. Okay guys, that's it from my side, okay? We will meet uh, again tomorrow evening, please make sure, because uh, I will not be available on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, right? I am traveling. So maybe tomorrow morning, yes, tomorrow morning also will be there, tomorrow evening also will be there, done? Because I want to complete this batch completely like i want to finish java oops concept okay like we will be learning next after next to next next class we'll be learning inheritance and uh, yeah inheritance and all oops concept will come the classes will keep on getting more interesting day by day not complex interesting okay chalo done guys thank you very much i'm ending the session Okay, see you guys tomorrow evening. Yeah, or people if you want tomorrow morning. Done? Chalo guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.